for a man to say, I'm going to give you everything I have, he's not going to do it in one, in one area. When come, if I'm going to give you all the money I have, which nine times out of 10, making a lot of money requires a lot of time, right? So I've invested all my time to make this money to give it to you. And then the free time that I have, I gave it to you. So whether I'm giving you my work time and my free time, I'm giving you everything. I don't have anything else. This is all I have. My work time gives me this money that goes to you. My free time goes to you. And the extra money that I have goes to travel with you. So it still goes to you. So I don't have anything else. So when a man gives all of his money and his resources, yes, that it's, it's literally all other eight, nine things that he got. When it comes to this investment and the, like, the breakdown of what you spend on a woman and all areas of your, your accounts, your extra money goes to vacations, you're spending money on them, blase, blase, blase. Like, that's not smart on y'all's behalf. You guys got to put some money aside. Like, no one is telling you to spend your last dime on a girl. Even if this is someone that you want to fully invest in, don't invest your last dollar because, yeah, you are going to feel like shit when she is cheating on you. When you find out about that side nigga, you're going to feel like shit. Yeah. So and, and this is why niggas go into this mental depression. And we spoke about this with the other week when niggas be wanting to kill themselves after a relationship. Oh, when it feels like death. Yeah. When it feels like death, when it feels like you don't got nothing. That's why. Because of the when money? you said, when you said you, the girl, the girl, when the you breakup. put everything, every aspect in of your life okay. into somebody, mm -hmm. you found out that they were doing you dirty, and this is not gonna go where you thought it was gonna go, mm -hmm. and now you feel like you have nothing. Mm -hmm. That can put somebody into a mental breakdown, feeling like you have nothing because you've given every part of your life to one person. Mm -hmm. We got to think better than this. Yeah, and I would say don't do it. Um, I don't recommend it. I mean, in my opinion, I've all the women that I've ever dated and spoke to, I came up with this conclusion. I was like, okay, God, God, you put women on this earth to dream and men on this earth to create her dream. That's kind of what it's always felt like. She tells me what she wants, and then it's my job or duty to go make it happen and come real life. She wants this house. Okay, I got to figure out how to get this house. She wants this type of ring. I got to figure out how to afford this type of ring. She wants this type of wedding. I got to figure out how to get this wedding. She wants this car. She wants three kids. She wants two dogs and she wants a parrot. And I don't know why, but I got to find a place to put a fucking parrot. I think this I don't is true, y'all. Right? So, <laughs> so it's like, we're always been a slave to a woman in some way, shape or form. Right? And when we are a slave to a woman and the woman operates with disloyalty, it hits different. Because I was already putting forth so much for you. That's why I think it can lead to that type of break. He's got nothing else. He's giving you, he's giving you everything. And when he was saying money, or he's saying time goes to money, and then the free time spent with you, in that free time, he's giving you vulnerability. He's having conversations. He's giving you emotional connection. He's giving you mental connection. Everything you said you wanted. Mm -hmm. So if you're cheating, he really has nothing left. Like zero, like his tank is empty. And I think that is what, I mean, I know that's what send some, some men over the edge. And all you got is your free time and you crying in your free time now. <laughs> you're, like your value is zero. I love her for the weekend, but for the week, she's yours. And that's honesty though. And that's what I was trying to say. He's it's telling the honesty. truth. Honesty, that's the most toxic nigga but, ever. But think about it. <laughs> he knows the game. So he knows for, from Monday through Friday, my, my my emotions cannot be tied up with you. But SZA those, said it too. Okay, well, they both talk she must be, Yeah, she must be tied. Did you sing those lyrics? I wow, did. Too. In your car on the way here. No, I didn't. Toxic car. I don't be listening to SZA in a car. Mm. I listen to Drake in a car. <laughs> Drake? <laughs> <laughs> I think there comes to a point in a relationship or even before the relationship where you need to have a talk about what your sexual desires are. And I think that would save a lot of people time. If you say, hey, listen, I'm into A, B, and C, and she says, hey, I'm, I'm into C, D, and E, you can easily just not be with that person from the jump. But I think because the other qualities outweigh so much outside of the sex is why people get together. And they say, oh, I can, 
I can change or I can morph to this. I can deal with A, B, and C. Yeah, but in, in the long run, you know that that could probably last for like a good two or three years. Things that go on That's in the good. bedroom, like how high is that for you, honestly? Like if you know you need to have sex five times a week and he can only have sex two times a week or he only wants to have sex two times a week, then you should be honest about that. Well, you know what really be happening is this. Bitch go cheat or a nigga go cheat. And then they introduce him to some new shit. Now that opened the door, right before you were, see how the door opened when I said that? Hey, At one point. Age <laughs> of the Aquarius. Age of the Aquarius. ABC was good. But then when that girl met Rome, now she went NMNOP. And? and QRS. And? TUV. The jackhammer. WX. Y and Z. Yeah. So now the problem that happens is a lot of letters. You were go back in this home. Alphabet. You go back home and you go back to A B C. <laughs> and he didn't even give you the C. He gave you A B. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, yo, I can't live like this. And then that's when I think the problem problems start to happen. A lot of people aren't going to experiment sexually by themselves. Well, that's how people get caught because they be trying L M N O P in the bedroom. And then they want to know where you learned that from. All the time. As soon as a new move get happened, I start like side eye, twist the face. <laughs> I'm like, get off me, get off me, get off me. <laughs> I got my feet at the edge of the bed. Get off me. And now I'm sitting like this. <laughs> you got to clutch your pearls. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like this. When I got a rule. <laughs> Is there something you need to tell me? <laughs> like... Oh, no, nah, I'm just trying this. Oh, I saw this. I mean, I think a healthy way to keep your <laughs> sex life lit is to watch porn, right? And then practice whatever you guys may think is interesting. And then you can kind of, you know, experiment from there. Now, if you just start trying random moves, because you might, you might just be watching porn on your own, right? And that might just give you a new idea, like, oh, let me put this foot behind her head and then twist her to this angle and then aim up, right? I'm just making shit up here. Um, <laughs> That's called the avalanche. No, no, That's like, called the avalanche. <laughs> no, but I was just saying, because if you start watching porn on your own and you start trying new shit, your spouse might think you're cheating. And you probably are. That's why you're watching new porn. And that's that's a perfect uh, scapegoat anyway. Oh, it's just watching porn. Exactly. It's a lie. I never believe yeah, that. Ask her to show you the video, though. What video was that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever turned down someone that pursued you but they were in a relationship Rico your face says it all I know she's gonna swallow she a goat <laughs> shout out to future um I'm gonna be honest with you I don't think so I don't think I've there's girls that I've turned down before um I mean, if I did turn down a girl that was in a relationship, it wasn't because she was in a relationship. Yeah, that part. It had nothing to do with that. I just didn't want her. Uh, maybe I saw her flaws were just too, you know, too big for me to even want to handle. No oh, diddy. Um, and I just, it just, I just didn't desire her, desire her, or I just didn't, I didn't trust her. Sometimes a girl who is in a relationship that's seeking you is very broken. And with broken women comes big spills. And I didn't want it to spill over what to my life. What if she's not broken? What if she thinks you look better than her nigga? That's, nah, I can and tell. she wanted peace. She's got a man. <laughs> What's not broken about asking him? That's pursuing a man yeah. while you got a man. Kind of crazy. I mean, I'm just saying. Doesn't mean <laughs> if, she's broken. If she was This probably broken. means you look good and she, she just won it. No, what? there's like, if again, and I'm, again... There's never been a situation where a girl had a man and it stopped me. You know what I'm saying? The one time that a girl did have a husband, I might have been like, I don't know, 26. She had a husband and I was like, damn, should I do this? She's married. And I was like, yeah, yeah. 100%. Why not? Like, he married that. That's, that's his L. If I don't do it, somebody else going to do it. It's bound to happen. So I'm going to rob myself because of, of a situation that's going to present itself again? Is this how niggas so I did it. give themselves their own advice? I said this at eight at the table. If she wanted to not be here, she wouldn't be here. If I want you and you're pursuing me, 
Why am I going to say no? Why do I have to have the integrity of your relationship? You're not respecting your relationship. I'm not going to respect your relationship, especially if you're putting it on a table for me to have and it doesn't require a lot. Hmm. Huh. That's like an easy investment. That's like a that's like you throwing money on you throwing 25 on red, knowing red's gonna come out. Bound to win. There's no loss here for me. I feel like that's the excuse that anyone gives themselves when they mess with someone that they know is in a relationship. It's like, I don't owe that person no loyalty. You owe that person loyalty. So I'm still gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. She has to defend the rim. Not me. And as someone still in her 20s, what, what about you? <laughs> I mean, I've definitely said that before. Like, I don't be owing nobody no loyalty, no but whatever. What about you? Um, Yeah. You have? Uh, definitely. But I'm saying, I'll usually tell them, like, you don't want these problems. And Oh, because you come with problems. No, I'm saying, like, Rico can probably attest to this, but you can meet women and you can meet women that are just too good for what you're trying to do. Like, I know, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you somewhere where you can't even handle where I'm about to take you. And I don't really want to do that to your life. That's nice. I mean, I'm saying, you, no, no, no. I you get it. I, mean? I like, get it. 100%. You can see, you can see. I need you to say I'm more actually, words. No, he's actually saying, no, no I'm he's saying, actually saying he cares about where she's going to end up after this. And he doesn't want to be responsible for what he's going to do to her. Yeah. Like, but not like physically do to her. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not the jackhammer. I'm saying just, no, he's going to do the jackhammer. I'm just saying, it's just in, you ever you know. see, you ever see a, you ever see a man or a woman, um, soft jackhammer. Um, <laughs> That Jack Hammer make a girl go, what? <laughs> you ever see, you ever see a, a man or woman, somebody you're, you're attracted to, right? And you could tell you guys have a good conversation. Everything's cool. And like you've already like sized them up, did all the, the science in your head and everything like that. And be like, this is so easy and I'm not going to be good for you. You know what I mean? But like you could still want this person. You could still lust for this person. You could, you could still want to have sex with this person. But you know that's going to open up a door that that person is not going to want to enter. And can't exit. No, they want to answer. They just don't know. But they can't leave. You know what it is? You don't want those problems, right? That's how I, like, when I had a situation like that, I'm like, yo, I don't want to fuck her because she's not going to be able to take what's about to happen. And I don't want to deal with this crazy bitch. <laughs> like, like, it had nothing. To, like, she's, of course, she, once, once she gets that, she's going to start going to a whole dimension where you ever see, like, shows or maybe even on Instagram now where girls just doing things they're like why would you even go this far they can't even think anymore like no funny shit I had a girl in my driveway begging to suck my dick begging I'm like go what's she doing in your driveway Cause I went. She, wanted, she, she, she wanted me so. Like, did she I, just come over? Did you kick her out? No, Why was she in the I driveway? Didn't kick her out. I just said, "Yo, listen, like this is, you know, like she was already displaying her crazy side, and my homies told me not to do it, and I knew in my soul not to do it. And what you I do? Still did it. There you go. I still did it, but I, I didn't do it right away. It took a couple months, right? <laughs> and then one day, niggas was lit. So then that happened, and then I told her eventually, I'm like, "Yo, listen, like this." Like, this was not that. I don't, and I told you this numerous times. I just think we need to stop talking in total and entirely because we tried this friendship and then you still try to love me and that doesn't work. That woman pulled up to my crib, 4 o'clock p.m. in her white Honda Accord. <laughs> it was beep, 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 beep. And mind you, what made it worse was that my room was right where the driveway was. So I'm like, yo, this bitch is all, I'm like, go home. She's calling me. I was like, come on, I, let me just, let me just suck your dick, please. I just want to be with you, please. I'm like, I told you, no, like you got to go. And um, I knew that that was going to happen though. The thing about people warning you that somebody's crazy, is like you want to, like, it's, it's a little intriguing. It is a little intriguing. Like why, <laughs> why are they crazy? Like me? I just like Crazy. what you mean? What they be doing? <laughs> and we're toxic. <laughs> that part, yo. They, 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 they love that chase, yo. And be like, listen, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Please don't make me do this. I don't want. I said no. No means no. 
No means no. No means no. Wrong. I'm just saying, like, no means I no, mean, but then that turns some type of crazy button on in y'all, and y'all like, I can change y'all? him. Y'all? I'm not crazy. We just, no. We just heard what you, you just <laughs> replay the tape. <laughs> No, I'm intrigued in the crazy people. That's oh, crazy. that's crazy. I don't think that <laughs> yeah. makes me crazy. It does make you crazy. Yes. You're I don't think complicit so. complicit in the crazy. I'm a very curious person. All right. That's another I want answers. I want to know. I'm trying to fuck with you to see why they say what they say. And then you're going to find out the hard way. I feel like a lot of men, it's an elite men's sport. You know what I'm saying? To be able to identify the girls that's about to go crazy. Mm-hmm. Once you do what you know you can do. Most men don't got that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, some girls, they just go through life. Think about it. Like, what? Most girls don't have an orgasm to mid to late 20s or whatever the hell. I don't know. That's what they be saying. Like, the mm. first two, three boyfriends, they never got an orgasm. Whatever. Then they go ahead and meet an elite, and everything changes. The way she treats you change. The way she look at you change. You ever, Rome, you ever look at a girl. No, and they you just, introduce the look, 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 Rome, you ever look at a girl and... You look into her eyes and you see a sparkle like she's in heaven. And you're like, oh, she's lost. <laughs> she's lost. And I don't know why I did this. And I knew I shouldn't have brought her here to this place. But I liked her. But just not as much as I knew she would like me. So, but Rome, so what do you, what's your opinion on, on this? Do you think that this statement is accurate um, across the board? That men and women, doesn't matter, uh-huh. don't want somebody that others can have? I agree. But <laughs> some women it. do not care. And that was the basis of our conversation. Yep. Again, for the ninth straight episode, I'm going to tell you, you say we are dogs. But you keep saying we are dogs. But you keep saying we are dogs. You got that. And then what happens? You said, I want to see why they call him a dog. I want. I want to see. I want to see who cut gave him out. those fleas. No, let's not cut it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and that's that's the chase. That's the push. And that's the pull. And that's the that's the cycle. And we're all guilty of it at some point in our lives. And good luck getting out of that. It can't. It's, that thing is reality. Like, yeah, it's tough. The same. The all women have wanted the same men for the entire existence of men. Mm-hmm. And and when we stop ignoring that, yeah, you. I don't think the word settle didn't come from getting the man that you wanted. It came from getting the one that you couldn't get. Okay. That's where the word settle down came from. Because in history, the, them men, the elite men, been getting what they want, having their cake, and eating it too, even if it was made by Amanda Sue. Ooh, Bars. that's a plug. <laughs> Bars. But it's not a good thing, you no, know. No, no, no. Don't Legally, do you know, you don't want to risk your marriage, you know. Unless you're the side dude, because the side dudes rarely tell. And that's another thing. I think that the side chicks want to make it more than what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. But a side dude would be like, all right, that's your situation. That's cool. And I think that's why a, a, a married woman or a woman will do everything she can and come running at his beck and call because... She thinks that he wants to mess up her. He, we don't never, they don't never want to mess up nothing. Side dudes definitely play the sport better than side women. Side dudes, like, I'm getting everything I want. I'm not, I'm not getting arguments. I'm not getting headaches. I probably only have to see her for a good hour because she got to go home to the, to the husband and kids. A woman is a responsibility for most men. Men are not a responsibility for most women. So a Ooh. girl, a girl, hey. a girl would want, a side chick will be more so willing to Take a man, you know, once his relationship blows up because she's going to be a responsibility for him. A guy who's a side dude is going to be like, okay, your relationship didn't work out. I don't want that responsibility of you. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier for a man to keep it at arm's length when the situation goes south rather than a girl. And if he's the side dude, he's probably, he's probably still, he's still dating. Yeah, and, As he's, a, and he's still fucking. Exactly. I'm about and to give up all my bitches because your relationship's not working? That part. That don't then, make sense. <laughs> no, that don't even add up. So then the side... It don't add up. They don't add up. Zero plus nine isn't, isn't divided. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm never doing that. So, but then like the side, the side girl, actually the side chick 
is still dating other men, but they're just not that one because he's the one that she can't really have. Mm-hmm. That's what that's the attraction and stuff you're talking about that you want to find out. Because he, she can have all these other dudes that are out there that she's dating and seeing, but she really just want that one. Yeah, I would love to have women on the panel, and honest women, honest not, women, not the honest not women. not the cookie cutters for sake of the argument women. We'll, we'll honest women come on the panel and say and answer. Why do you always want what you can't have? Not I honest. don't understand that. I'll be honest. No, we need some truth serum. Yeah, we'll we'll give you we'll give you full face masks. You don't got to reveal. We won't give you, you anonymous. Yeah, anonymous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can still wear nice heels and everything, so you look good. But just the mask is going to be a great dress. Yeah, and a blurred face. No, but look at us. We over here telling you. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a regular joke. Ask your neighbor. Would you enter an agreement um, from your younger years about say, in ten years we don't we don't have anybody. We should get married or get with each other. If we're friends. If we're friends. But like marry or like we'll, we'll, just get together just to be in a relationship. Let's start with a relationship and then I guess get to wherever you want to be. Would you give that person a chance and like enter an agreement in that in that manner? No. Best friend. Would you would you and your best friend make a, a relationship backup plan? Um, no. No. Like I don't that's not even something I have to think about. Because if we were friends all of this time and I am only going to date you if other relationships don't work out for me, then I was never really into you like that in the first place. Say it came out of something like just goofy, like you guys are kidding around and you're like, Hey, you know what, I enjoy spending time with you, but you were so young where you knew you you weren't ready for a relationship right now. And so you're thinking like, you know, I'm gonna mature and at some point I'd like to you know, if we're both single, let's let's try well, to pick if this it up. Happened in the moment. Yeah, it wasn't very yeah. spontaneously. I felt like, you know what, you're not so bad, and we could actually work. And we start dating like right now because we both felt that in in that moment at that time of our lives. Then sure, but I'm not planning to date you ten years, ten years from now. No, 